When kids fall behind on their reading, it can be easy to blame the school, the teachers, or even the curriculum. And while sometimes bad instruction is to blame, undiagnosed dyslexia can be at the heart of the issue. In the latest installment of our series on literacy, The Science of Reading, we take a closer look at CBS 2's Doug Williams is here now with more on all of this. Doug. Maurice and Christine, think about this like the doctor's office. If you know something's wrong, getting a diagnosis can be scary, but sometimes there's a sense of relief because it's hard to fix a problem before you know what it is. It's the same with dyslexia, but getting a diagnosis is harder than it should be. I got better and better to um, know how to read more. Students at PS 125 in Harlem, one of the first city public schools to give teachers intensive training when it comes to reading, chosen by the city to spearhead a dyslexia pilot program in 2022. We've created individualized literacy plans for every child. Not every school is as far along in the process. The city has increased screenings and interventions, but a formal diagnosis comes out of the classroom and out of pocket. I was able to get him a neuropsych evaluation which is very expensive and not uh, attainable for many families. They can cost around $10,000. The good news, places like the South Bronx Literacy Academy are here to help, diagnosis or not. We're not necessarily screening for dyslexia, but markers of dyslexia are common sort of at-risk factors. When you come to a place like this, you realize it's not just reading we're talking about here. It's children's happiness, their ability to enjoy life. This school used to be an anxious place for them, but a little bit of success can change that. I just started having good days. When reading became easier for you, yeah. do you think that that's what made more good days? Yeah. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of emotions. And now when we don't have school, they're like sad and they want to come to school. It's just a good feeling. Yes. This school in its second year is the first of its kind, accepting students with all types of reading challenges. People think of dyslexia and they think about letter reversals, but dyslexia is really a learning difficulty primarily evidenced by difficulty in reading, decoding accurately and fluently, as well as writing. The other school that my parents were putting me in, I, I had a, a lot of hard times reading. If you just quit when you can't get a word right, you're not going to learn how to read. But if you keep trying, you're going to get better. How cute are those kids? Uh, and so much of this is about imbalanced access to quality education. Experts say reading proficiency levels at the start of fourth grade are a key indicator of whether a student will graduate from high school. In 2022, nationwide, only 14% of black fourth grade students across the country were at reading level. The, both schools we just featured doing everything they can, guys, to change that around here. And this was Mayor Adams' story. He always yes. talks about how he struggled. People thought He's he was dyslexic. dumb until they figured it out. And look how it all works out. His administration out. is really trying to increase screenings for that reason. Right. And you so. see the confidence that exudes yeah. from these kids and, once right. they unlock that potential and they figure out, you know, the correct way to, t for, to teach these Light children. Light bulb goes off, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's anxiety that's ingrained in them that mm -hmm. they have to break out of. But once they start to read, it changes everything. Yeah. Absolutely. There is help. Doug, yeah. that's a great story. Thank yeah. you. Thank Thanks you so much. Appreciate it. And to learn more here, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com, where you can find all of our science and reading reports with our education partners at Chalkbeat New York.